Good morning Capricorn, welcome to my channel. My name is Rose and I'm here to bring you another weekly love read. Capricorn, all of my readings are for entertainment purposes only, so take what you need, leave what doesn't apply. Should you require a personal reading, feel free to connect with me. All those details will be in the show more section. Equally, if you enjoy this reading and you want to see more of my reads in the upcoming future, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and or subscribe to my channel where you will always be notified of when I release a new video here on the channel, which is usually on a week to week basis, unless otherwise I, you know, change things up. Also to Capricorn, keep an eye out for the comments section. I will be randomly selecting weeks where I will open up the opportunity for you to comment in the comment section. Feel free to leave your messages behind, share your stories and or contribute to the community. Okay, let's see what's coming through for you. Beautiful, you've got the night of emotions coming through Capricorn. For some of you, you could be dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, but this is someone who is ready to enter into a relationship. Okay, so for you single Capricorns who may be dating someone, um, I feel this person, or just seeing someone very casually, I feel this person really enjoys your company, they like you, um, they feel really happy to be around you, and they want more of that feel-good energy. This person is coming in offering you their cup of love. So I do see this person perhaps coming through offering you an opportunity to catch up with them, go out with them, spend some quality time with them, okay? Um, don't be surprised if this person pulls their heart open to you or tells you something um, that maybe you want to hear or perhaps you didn't expect to hear. You've got the seven of emotions here too. Um, and you've got the strength card. So for some of you, you could be dealing with a Leo. I feel with the seven of emotions, this can speak to, you know, is this too good to be true? Because it feels to me that, you know, you may be floating on cloud nine here with the seven of emotions. I just, you know, it's giving me that feeling of, you know, when you first meet somebody and, you know, those butterflies, you know, those butterfly feelings that you feel and it's just like everything is perfect and nothing can go wrong this week. That's what I'm feeling here. Um, and I feel like you may be fantasizing more um, or dreaming more about your future together. With the strength card here, I feel like your confidence is increasing every day in this connection, okay? For others of you, you are desiring someone here, you fancy someone here, but you're not sure about this person. You don't know whether it's just too good to be true, um, if this is just an illusion. So there is... For a small percentage of you, some uncertainty creeping in. It's like, can I trust my feelings? Can I trust what I'm feeling here in the current situation? But I do see this connection growing from strength to strength or someone's feelings definitely growing stronger here with the strength card. Oh, here we go. We've got another card coming through. We've got the Nine of Voices. Okay, so things are taking a turn, it seems. The Nine of Voices speaks to stress, fear, worry, anxiety, because someone is spending too much time in their head and probably not enough time in their heart. This person... Um, may be causing a little bit of stress for you or you may be making a mountain out of a molehill in the upcoming days and weeks so really do catch your thoughts catch your thoughts um capricorn before you know it kind of takes 
you into that fear-based thinking. Let's just see what else is coming through. I mean, this fear or this anxiety, this stress or this worry could be coming from this other person that you're connecting to. Okay, maybe they feel or they fear, I should say, with the strength card here that you don't need them or that you don't want them. We've got the Ace of Materials. Yeah, I feel like this person's feelings or this situation is becoming more serious. I do see an offer coming through this week, but there may be a little bit of stress around this offer. There may be a little bit of doubt coming through with this offer. Okay, because this is, this is to me speaking self-doubt. Someone's really unsure here if the offer will be accepted. But the Ace of Materials also lets us know that there is a strong chance that this can manifest into something long-term. Okay. It could be someone that you meet through work as well. You've got the Hanged Muse. Yeah, I'm getting the sense that someone is a lot in their head. Even the Seven of Emotions can speak to being in that mental energy, okay? Because we're overthinking things. It's like, are we really seeing things for what it really is? These three cards here form a triangle and to me, they're all speaking of being in that mental energy. It is asking with the hangman to see it from a different perspective, perhaps a perspective that you normally wouldn't consider. But I do see with the hanged man, it's elevated, it's elevated, so... Um, I'm seeing taking it, taking this situation or taking this relationship to another level, to a higher level. At the bottom of the deck, we've got the six of inspiration. I really like this because in traditional tarot, this speaks to the six of wands. There is someone here that wants victory. This is the overall energy in the upcoming week. Someone wants a victorious outcome. Someone wants a positive outcome. Maybe both of you are looking for a positive outcome here. I do see someone wanting someone else's attention. So your special person could be, you know, pulling out all the stops this week to give you the attention that they know you deserve. Okay, so this is someone, you know, doing things to grab or get your attention. This person is drawn to come towards you and, yeah, seek victory in the situation. I, I'm sensing here that this self-doubt or this anxiety or this stress, these mental thoughts are coming from a place of perhaps maybe feeling insecure. Because the Six of Inspiration tells me that someone may be getting a lot of attention here. Capricorn, you might be receiving a lot of attention from maybe a lot of different people, um, a, lot, a lot of different suitors around you. This person clearly knows that there's competition and they may be stressing or worrying that they're not good enough. So let's take a look at the outcome. Um, or what action this person is going to take toward you in the upcoming days and week. I really like it. They're coming through as the spider spirit. It says here, make your dreams real. So this person does dream about you. This person really does think about you during the day and during the night. I feel like you occupy a lot of this person's mental energy and I love the spider spirit because the spider spirit is productive energy. It's ambitious energy. So this person is going to make things happen. 
okay? They're not going to sit back and sit idle. They're definitely going to ensure that they snare you up, that they snatch you up, okay? Oops, too many cards came through. For others of you who know, um, if you're in a committed relationship, I feel like with the spider spirit, this person will want to work or do the work around this. Okay, lion spirit. Yeah, look, we've got two lions coming through. So I feel like this person is going to take the initiative and take the action steps that are necessary in the upcoming days and week. I do feel like this person is going to be generous with their time, their love, and their attention. I really do see that here. And I'm seeing strong loyalty here too. So I feel like this person may value loyalty. They may, um, you know, admire that you're a very loyal person. But I do see loyalty coming through here. And this person will prove their loyalty to you. So there we have it, Capricorn. I hope you enjoyed this message. Until next week, take care.